Hello, I'm Laura Long. I'm a life coach and also an energy worker. Since 2001, when I went to acupressure school at the Berkeley Institute, I fell in love with the energetic system. And I'm here in my office today to talk to you about one of the aspects of a wonderful program that I work with people on about releasing their heart wall. And the heart has many, many layers. Over a period of lifetime, we have several different layers of emotions that build up from our circumstances and events. And we can all relate to heartbreaking situations, but there's also these situations where there were just intense emotions that were developing, a real intense situation. And we needed to feel like we needed to protect that beautiful centered um, essence of our being, our heart. So one of the wonderful programs that I work with my clients in is to release those multiple layers of trapped emotions in their heart along with a whole bunch of coaching to help us um, decide where we want to go after that. So once you have all those layers of emotions released from your heart, begin to think about, well, what do I want instead? What do I want instead? Well, one of the things and one of the reasons that we release many of those layers is to expand our communication with that wisdom heart. The heart has this huge electromagnetic field, it has neurons in it, has a wonderful method of communicating with our gut, listening to the intuition, to our, that's centered from my gut, you know, I need to listen to my gut, I need to listen to my heart, and I need to listen to my brain. So all those parts need to work together, but it starts with your heart. It starts with the open communication with your heart. So how do you keep that open communication with your heart? So I'm sharing my whiteboard with you here because I want to talk to you about how to connect with the wisdom of your heart. So once you get that heart opening from our work together or from doing it yourself or just want to start listening to your heart, that wisdom a little bit more, very first thing you want to do is slow down. So slowing down, what does that mean, slowing down? Getting quiet. Um, you can't get quiet until you slow things down a little bit. So you ever heard that expression, you need to slow down to speed up? Well, this is kind of what that is. So you want to find a place, a space, a time where you can slow down. If you can't find two minutes within a day to slow down, then call me and let's talk about how to make that happen for you too. So what I'm saying is that I think everybody can find a couple of minutes during the day to slow things down so that they can get quiet enough to begin to have a dialogue with the heart a little bit, hear what it's saying, connecting with it. The next thing you'd want to do is to breathe into your heart. Now, that sounds super simple, but the yogis say that your breath is the most powerful resource that you have in your body. So why not utilize it in your communication? So in communicating with your heart, you also want to breathe into your heart to enhance the communication. So just having a breath awareness as it enters, the sensations as it enters your body, and then just breathing right down into the center of your heart and feeling the expansion as your breath inhales and exhales. Feel the heart expanding, rising. That taps you in to that electromagnetic field and into the essence of your heart. And that's how you can begin the communication with your heart. You wanna ask elevated questions once you've, I would start with the slow down, get quiet, and then breathe into the heart. I would do that for a few times before you start asking questions. We get a little ahead of ourselves before we get the practice and the communication skills down. So this is just a new method of communicating it, but this time it's with yourself. Once you've gotten the sensations of being able to tap into your heart, so to speak, by slowing down, getting quiet, and breathing into your heart, then you can start asking some elevated quality questions. So a quality question would be one that's pretty open without a lot of negative statements in it. So here is a low quality question. How do I not feel so bad every day? There's not a lot that your heart can do with that, okay? So how do I not feel bad? It's 
sort of brag grammar in a certain way too. So how might you reconstruct that question to have a, a better um, elevated question, a better quality question to uh, provide you with a quality outcome? Might be to say, what is one thing that I can do that will elevate my mood today? So start simple and clear and concise and positive. Now, I have written down here to ask an elevated question without no attachment to the answer. So what I mean by that is when you ask the question to your heart and you breathe into your heart and you ask that elevated question, don't expect an answer right there and then. So release your attachment to an immediate response. Maybe it'll come, maybe it won't. That will be the nice surprise but release the attachment to it. Don't expect an answer. Then open to hearing an answer later on. So how do you open to hearing the answer? You make space to hear the answer with starting all over again. Slow down, get quiet, and breathe into your heart. So that's it. SD means slow down, GQ, get quiet, BH, breathe into your heart. So Finding time throughout your day to reestablish your connection with your heart. You go to, I tell all my clients, I know you go to the bathroom during the day. <laughs> so take that time to take a moment to slow down, get quiet inside. That means just kind of letting the thoughts go and breathe. Then that is how you open to the answers and wait for the response and see what comes to you. It's a practice. It doesn't mean that when you first start this, boom, 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 well, who am I to say? It might happen for you. But most of the time, it takes us building that practice, building that muscle so that when we really, really want to connect with the energy of our heart, the wisdom of our heart, we have been practicing that communication and we know how to ask quality questions, we know how to listen for the answer, and we really can accelerate our lives by listening to the wisdom of our heart. Give it a try. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. You can learn more about me at lauralong.pro, and I also um, have opportunities to work together to release the heart wall. Check out my heart wall program, in, on my website. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook at um, A Life of Choice by Your Own Design. So lots of ways for us to connect. If this resonates with you, it'd be good for us to have a conversation. Thanks. Have a great day, and I hope you hear the wisdom of your heart.